Sends it in and Boley tracking it out long. He fell down. It's headed in for Tom Dwyer's first goal of the season. Free kick from long distance. Lord Holiday. Bending ball up for grabs. And there's another goal for the U.S. Sydney LaRue. If our kid doesn't want to play soccer and he wants to, he or she wants to do something else, like, we're fine with that. I just want them to be happy. <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, what a goal! It's the free kick, and it's Sydney LaRue. I mean, let's I mean, be, let's be will, honest, they will. They will play soccer. <laughs>
give me something to do with my ring. Mm, Maybe yeah, I wanted to give it a you big for, fat kiss. You forgot. Maybe I was saving it. No, you forgot. And it's game on here at Sporting Park, Sporting Kansas City. I feel like we're very, very, very similar. We do the exact same thing. We play the exact same position. Yeah. This is a beautiful ball. Dwyer, shot at wide. How hard you work, that's so important to me. Sometimes things might not be going well for you, but if your effort is there and you're relentless, like that's what I love and I see that in him. It's Dom Dwyer against Jermaine Jones. I really watch his movement. Like I watch Dom and how he moves and how he gets you know, behind defenders and gets behind the defense. Before he went around their outside back, which like I would never think of doing. Namath swings it in. Dom Dwyer, what a turn and what a goal! <laughs> 22 goals last year to set a Sporting Kansas City record. Dom Dwyer scored goals like this for fun. It is over. Sporting Kansas City will hold on for the 3-2 victory here tonight. No. Dom, every time you score at home, you lose your shirt some, somewhere. Why is that? Um, my, uh, my wife told me not to take my shirt off, so I took it off. Okay, have fun answering to her on that one. Thank you. They both have a real inner calmness. They don't live normal life. But they don't put themselves above everybody else. They're approachable. <laughs> Yes, it is. Yeah, that's one of our coaches. We love Instagram. I, I'll try and interact with fans on Twitter and tweet fun stuff and make people laugh. Oh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Obviously, it's going to be talked about. That's, that's fun for me. I mean, she likes positive media. She's a sensitive one. You'll have a hundred positive things and then you'll have one kind of negative thing. And for some reason, that always kind of shows up. You know, obviously we had a talk and said, if you want to keep a solid relationship, you can't really let outside influences affect it. Don't believe everything you see on social media. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Guess who's here? We probably spent seven days at the most together since the World Cup started to get serious. Can you sign something for me? Just like my shirt or something. I didn't want to waste too much of your time on game day, but I didn't know if I could get like a quick autograph or something. Of course, we want to play in the same city. Is it possible? Yes. But we're just trying to kind of yeah, figure we're, that we're out. We're hopeful it will happen. <laughs> All right, love you. <laughs> Bye. World Cup build-up. She always wants to do well in every game. She's a beast like that. The pressure going into the World Cup, I think that we're really inviting that. I think that's the American way, you know. We're expected to win this thing, and anything less than a gold is is not good enough. Since I've got to know the other girls on the team, I realize how close they all are. They're not just teammates, they're friends as well. It's exciting for me, and I just really want to see them all do well and be able to express themselves and, and get what they deserve out of it. Almost a carnival atmosphere here, just about sold out. The final game for the US women's team before they go to the World Cup. I like her, her serious face, how competitive she is. I love watching her play. Trying to engineer a shooting opportunity, LaRue! Just wide. We're both very passionate about what we do. 
scrappiness comes in. She reminds me of a female version of myself. I always watch forwards when I play and I, I think of what I do in that situation. The things she does in the game are just, they blow me away. She's so fast, so fast. Yeah, she's fast. She's almost as fast as me. Mm. <laughs> I really just married her just hopefully so we can have kids and make them sprinters. <laughs> That is it, the USA, the Red Bull Arena. I really want to have a baby and come back and play. Like it, that's one of the things that I really want to do. If you want to do that and I want to win a championship and have my little baby out on the field <laughs> with me, I can see that one happening. For me, like right now, I mean, the World Cup, the Olympics, um, that's the most important thing for us yeah. right now. So I thought you did good. You look fast, you look really fast. There'll be a right time for us, um, but so not something to get excited about just yeah. yet. But. More future. Alright, I'll see you after. Okay, thanks. Like, he's like the most understanding person I know. She's a, a big positive on my life and an inspirational person and a fantastic athlete. We just get each other.